Okay, so I'm going to show you the most inexpensive way to use the uh, snoot, the power snoot, light sphere collapsible snoot, uh, with the equipment. So first part of it is I'm assuming that you already have something like this, a flash unit and a camera. So the next part of that would be to buy, and this is just the minimum starting equipment, you can get fancier, and the fancy people already have videos that I've made for the fancy equipment. But uh, so this is what you have. You're going to need one of these guys, and it's a very, very inexpensive uh, flash trigger, maybe about 50, 60 bucks. This one's made by Flash Fire Photoflex. Uh, there's also Young Noel makes them, uh, different channels and everything like that. Nice thing is, is that it'll fit on any flash, doesn't matter. Make sure that you put your flash not on radio, not on slave mode, not on anything, but regular, regular flash. I'm going to put this one actually on the manual mode because there's no TTL between these guys. Okay, so this one goes in your flash shoe like this. And now we're going to test it and so it fires. Okay, so now that I know it'll fire like that, we're going to need to mount this on something so that we can get the cool effects. This is a really cool little light stand. Look how small it is. Um, and this can go in my little carry-on case or whatever, but it actually extends to a full height. And this one's, it's because it folds onto itself. This one's called a Manfrotto 5001B. I believe Photix makes the same style of light stand, but this is just a really super telescoping light stand. It'll, it'll go up very, very high. Okay, next part I'm going to put on is a roller ball. This is a Joby roller ball. And the reason why I want to put a roller ball, I'll show you in just a second, but we want to have the ability to really quickly change the angle of your snoot. So, and I've got this, this little clip. You can also use the one that came with your flash. It's the foot that came with your flash. If you can't find it, go look inside the box. Hope you didn't throw it away. Now, this goes onto the little hot shoe adapter part here, like that, and clips on like that. So now I've got my flash on a stand with the roller ball that enables me now to just basically fine tune the position. I love this part of it. Because otherwise if you don't get a roller ball you're going to have one of those ratchety things that only goes up down right to left and it's very very slow. This is super fast. Last part now we're going to put the snoot on. Snoot's very easy to put on. Let me just lower this. Again, we want to put the snoot on when it's collapsed. So face down, collapse it like that, angle it on at a 45 degree angle, like this, and then unfurl it, pull it out like that, and then we're going to attach the working part of it, which is the grid. The grid makes the light come out intensely in one direction only, and that's where you get the cool effect. That's where you get the spotlight effect. So now that this is on, and I've got a slave on it, I can now get ready to do some really cool directional photos. This being on manual, this camera is now going to be set on manual. So we're basically flying without any controls whatsoever. In the next part of this video, or a different video, depends on how we configure it, I'm going to show you how to set these things up on manual and just kind of fine tune it until you get the creative effect that you're looking for.